how to use nda and no des to explain things. 普通はウォールマーケット通っていくんだけど、私のおすすめはこっち。子供の頃からこっそり使ってるんだ。So, you can use this piece of language, nda, at the end of a sentence, and it gives it a kind of explanatory tone. A kind of literal translation would be, it is that, although it doesn't always fit every situation. But it's very much expressing that you're explaining something. So, here in Final Fantasy VII Remake, Marlene is explaining to Barrett that the Mako reactor exploded. She could just say, Bakuhatsushita, it exploded. But she's explaining this to him. She's like, hey, you know, it is that the Mako reactor exploded. She's teaching him some sort of like new information. Perhaps she thinks that he doesn't know, and so she's explaining the situation to him. And that's why she uses this nda at the end of the sentence. This gives it that explanatory feel. Well, like here in this exchange between Tifa and Cloud, Cloud, you do this kind of thing, huh? So almost, it is that you do this? So in a way, she's almost seeking explanation. It is that you do this? <laughs> so, like for example, if you want to go to the toilet, you could just say, Toire ni ikitai. <laughs> I want to go to the toilet. It doesn't have a sense of urgency or anything to it, you're just simply stating a fact. I want to go to the toilet. But if you're like explaining to someone that you want to go to the toilet, like for example, like why are you behaving a certain way or why are you in a rush? Maybe you're pushing someone out of the way and you're trying to explain quickly why you're doing it. It's because it is that I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> in this situation, you would put nda at the end just to give it that explanatory tone. You can also do the same thing with e adjectives, just put nda at the end. So, urusai, you're being noisy. Urusai nda, it is that you're being noisy. So, it's a bit more explanatory. Or, oishi, it's delicious. Oishi nda yo, it's delicious, you know? Here, trying to teach new information that the curry at soba restaurants is super delicious. So she's explaining to the character here, that's why she uses nda. And she's being emphatic, so she has yo at the end. Now, na adjectives and nouns function in the same way, however, you need to put a na before the nda. So instead of taihen nda, you can't do that, it needs to be taihen nanda. It is that, it's super difficult. And the same thing for nouns as well. Dare, who, dare nanda. Who is it that it is? So you're seeking some sort of explanation. And there are a few other different ways you'll see nda being used. Nda is very colloquial spoken language. The n is actually a contraction of no. So in a less casual way, instead of saying nda, you could use no da to express the same thing that you're explaining something. And da is quite a strong statement of something. It's making a strong declaration of something. If you wanted to be polite instead and a little bit less forceful, you could use des. And so the same thing, instead of nda, you could say ndes. This is kind of casual polite. Oi, oi, omae, nani yatten da? Chiyo bunseki suru ndes. Or you could use no des, and that's a bit more formal polite. Fiokunate. 
So here we can kind of see the difference between when it's used in questions and when it's not. If you wanted, you could just simply say something wa doko da? Where is it? Switch wa doko da? Oi, Sariban, kuruma wa doko da? Hmm? Lex wa doko da? But you're not really seeking an explanation when you say that. If you wanted to seek an explanation, you would use nda at the end. So like here in Tales of Vesperia, where are we? Or more literally, where is it that we are? So you're seeking some sort of explanation. You're really confused and you want someone to teach you the information that you don't know. Or like, what is it that you're doing? What are you doing? Or where is it that a certain person is? But at the end of the day, all of these pieces of language have the same meaning to express that you're explaining something or that you're seeking some sort of explanation. So just remember that nda and nodes is used to add some sort of explanatory tone to whatever you're saying. Perhaps you're teaching presumed new information and so you're being a bit more explanatory. Or perhaps you're seeking some sort of explanation. That's how nda and nodes is used. This is a very interesting piece of grammar that I think a lot of people take some time to actually get familiar with and really get a feel for how it's used. And I totally understand why it would be a bit confusing because generally when you ask a question, you're seeking an answer, right? So what's the difference between when you use nda and not? You're still seeking explanation, right? But there is a difference between seeking an answer and seeking some sort of explanation. And that's really the difference here between using it or not using it in a question. But when making a statement, it's much more clearer. Ikitai, I want to go. It's just a statement. It's just a fact. But ikitai inda, you're really explaining something. It is that I want to go. Perhaps you're pushing someone out of the way, or perhaps you're kind of being in a bit of a hurry, or perhaps you're even being a bit emotional about something. You're explaining why you're being emotional. It's because I want to go. That's what this nda and nodes does. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very interesting piece of Japanese grammar. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment, like the video. And if you really love the video, then consider coming joining us on the Game Gengo Discord community, either directly through the website or through Patreon. Thanks so much guys for watching and as always I will see you again in the next video. See you guys.